Hey, what's going on guys? Good morning. Here at the nursery, exploring new items. We're getting ready to do a tutorial. Here we have a beautiful Echeveria Poganubric. We're gonna turn it into a flower stem. We need some tools, some scissors, a brush for the dust, a nice sharp stick, and some floral wire. We also gonna need uh, some floral tape. And of course, our beautiful, colorful Echeveria Pearl Von Newberg. Pearl Von Newberg. Ah, let's just call it PVN. So we're gonna start off by shaking off some of this dust. We're gonna shake off all the soil, off the, uh, off the succulent. Be gentle or not, we're gonna strip most of the roots off of it anyways. We wanna leave, leave it down to the stump or the trunk. So we just shake off everything with our bare hands. You can use gloves. I like to get down and dirty. So here we are shaking it all off, massaging around, taking off all the excess soil. We're gonna get it down, we're gonna strip it down to its bare minimum. Once we got it there, look at my hands are all dirty. So we're gonna cut it. We're gonna leave the little stump. We'll work it around, working it around. And we shake off all this excess soil around it with a little brush. This is where the brush comes in. Be, be, I'm sorry guys. <coughs> Being a little meticulous. So now you shake it off. Sometimes you have to take off some of the um, bottom old leaves just to give you a little bit more trunk space. As you can see, you have a little trunk space. And now it's time for uh, the corn, corn cobbing, you, know, you, you cob it like a corn, kind of. And it's, this is the difficult part because you have a sharp, sharp stick, and succulents are very brittle, so it's hard to to manage to put it in. But however you can, uh, you squeeze the trunk on the bottom. In this case, I jammed it in the table uh, downwards, I stomped it down. It kind of worked, but uh, using your physical force would be the best. And then to secure it properly, we're going to get some of this uh, floral wire. We're going to get a little nice piece. And uh, we're going to put a wire through the top, the very right top of the stand. We're going to put it right through it. It's fairly soft, so it should just be able to just pass right through it, the middle. And once you get it, you pull it in the other side. And what the wire is gonna do is gonna give it added support from the stick to the edge of area. And what we're gonna do is gonna twist it around the stick, kind of tighten it up. You might wanna use some gloves for this because the wire is pretty sharp. So here you have it, we have it secured. So now we have to do is um, cover all the imperfections with some of this floral tape. And cut a little piece. I like to cut a piece first instead of using the whole roll on my hand. It just makes it easier to manage. <clears throat> Especially when you're trying to do the, the, the top part of the, of the stick near the edge of area. So we're just gonna just roll it around and pull on the, uh, with one hand, grab the terraria stick and the other one kind of just pull down as, as you kind of uh, tighten it up around the, the edge of it and you go from the top to the bottom so you can hug the terraria with with the stick and then I, I, I get another piece to secure it more and we're gonna do the same thing just going around and just kind of uh, make it nice and tight so there's no movement from the terraria and kind of uh, tying around that um, the wire so the wire and the stick could be as one and so I think we have it nice and secure now so we're gonna start now we're gonna do um, another piece just to cover all the wire because the wire is sharp and you don't you want to put excess excess uh, tape around the 
the wire. That way there's no sharp edges. And it gives it added support. And these materials are easily find in a craft store. You can find it um, in a, online. And they're really cheap, they're not expensive and wood. You don't really need a lot of the material. So if you buy a roll of, of this floral tape, it can last you for several of these. So now we just grab a large piece, we're just gonna wrap it down just to cover the stick, make it look really nice and pretty. And, uh, I need some more tape. So this is the first time I've ever done these. I, I have a succulent book with like crafty things you could do with a succulent, make like earrings and, and uh, bracelets with succulents. And one of the items that I saw was this and I read upon it uh, and I figured ah, I'll give it a try. I bought the materials and it was fairly simple. Here I'm just dusting off some of this, some of this dust that's around the edge of area. There it is. Maybe I should have washed the edge of area, dunk it in a bucket of water before I started working on this. But like I said, this is my first time. So we learn as we go. And here you have it, folks. A nice, sturdy Echeveria stem flower. I don't know what to call it. I'm going to call it beautiful stem flower Echeveria. Thank you for watching and uh, hit the like button and subscribe.